gonna start recording on my side as well. Okay. All right. Welcome everyone to uh, TikTok: A Tale for Two. My friend here is joining me. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm False. You can uh, full term False Empathy. I'm probably gonna change my gamer tag here soon, but oh well, then uh, I'll just yeah. call you Matthew. <laughs> that also works. All right. uh, this is my friend Matthew. He and I are gonna play this uh, this game. Yeah. Uh, so there's gonna be two sides to this whole thing, so it's a little it's a little strange to stream, but it's pretty nice. We're so. both recording. We're gonna see if we can edit it together, and we'll see how that goes out. Um, but it's a puzzle game, and uh, Matthew's gonna explain it to me because I barely know anything. He did all the research. I did very little research actually. I wanted no spoilers to this. And Same here. For games like these, for points for spoilers are running rampant online. Oh, yeah. So in order to actually look up anything about this, the only information that I can actually get about this thing is that we each choose a character, which is, you have to choose one, I have to choose the other. And basically we're just gonna kind of run through this and solve puzzles as we go. Um, it's estimated that this takes about two and a half hours. So it's gonna be the a average couple person. episodes. Um, uh, <laughs> but we're working together from separate, th I don't think we link up, uh, but things that I solve on my end will give him answers that I can talk to him and tell him answers and probably he'll solve a puzzle that way, et cetera, et cetera, if, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. So we'll All probably right. just jump into it and hit start. Yeah, 100%. All right. All right. This is a two-player adventure. Uh, going solo is not an option. Pick a different player each and communicate to solve puzzles, either in person, through a phone call, online chat, the game itself doesn't require an internet connection to play. Awesome. Mm -hmm. For the best experience, don't look at each other's screens, but if you get stuck, need a hint, then it doesn't hurt to take a peek. All right? So, but we can't don't even do that. Watch my stream. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Watch your stream. No, right. don't. <laughs> That's not how you play this game. These are the instructions. You can click and drag, spin, and use the mouse wheel to explore the world. Yep. Okay. All right. Are you ready to click start? Is that. If you're calling through an online chat, we recommend that you use Discord. It's also a great place to find a second player if you need one. All right, we choose already a player. Have players. Um, I want to go with player one. Uh, I'm I'm going through the same stuff that you just went through. I will go player two then. Okay. Make sure your team. You are player two. Make player sure two. your team member is player one. I'm player one. All right, start I'm playing. I'm player two. All right. Okay. I like the bell sounds. The, the music is amazing in this game. Oh, yeah. It's so Today, cold. you and your friend received two strange packages. Each contained an old clock. Your friend got one, too. Mine said something different. Oh, well, read it. What'd you get? Uh, it, it was just a quick... It said the same thing, essentially. It just had different wording. Oh, okay. Um, Dear Player One, let's... this clock is part of a game... Oh, I can read it now. It's part of a game, a gift I made for my sister. To have a fighting chance, play with a friend and tell each other what you read and see. If you find my sister, tell her I miss her. Emily. All Mine right. says something else. So, dear say? player two, I sent you one clock. I sent one clock to you and one to your friend. If you want to play a game, look into the past together. Remember to wind the clocks up. Uh, All right. So, we probably got to mess with this clock somehow. Mine says Tuesday. Uh, 6-15-2021, so that's, yep. I believe, today. Yep, that's oh, today. I can move this paperclip, it looks like. I've got a paperclip uh, on my desk, and I can, I can I, grab I it. I can click it, and it kind of shakes. It kind of shakes. Can I move it completely? Yeah. No? Okay. Um, well, I can scroll down, too. Oh. Uh, we yep. got it from Denmark. There's a bunch of numbers on the box with three stars on it. Yep. I oh. have the same thing. Pocket watch. Emily, oh. 1915. Uh, I can't get this open. I can't get the pocket watch open. But there's a newspaper clipping. What do you got? Uh, I, mine actually says something else. The pocket watch says um, L, um, the Aether A E, R K E, uh, 1917 to 1937. Uh, and then I have a, I have a newspaper clipping in a box too. All right. Um, well. Tuesday, March 14th, 1937. It cuts off and it says K E S our village. Uh, understandably distressed, she later corrected her statement and said it must have been an hour and a half later. Um, contact if you have seen or heard anything unusual, please contact the police. 
All right. Mine says another disappearance stri, and then it's ripped off uh, the title there. But the the thing written here it says by Mark D. Hansen, uh, Hilbeck Press, the youngest member of the renowned clockmaker family. Uh, Lark was reported missing yesterday. Her sister Emily told us she had last seen her at 10:30. All right, you back can in time, open the pocket watch, by the way. Oh, you can? Try to click and drag it to the left. Oh, that's probably what it is. All right, there it is, yeah. Oh, okay, this is probably where we can turn back time. 10.30, right? Uh, is there any, like, dates or times that are particularly uh, notable to us right now? Uh, yeah, we got dates and times. So this one here says that uh, her sister Emily told us she had last seen her at 10.30, so I got 10.30 as a time. Okay. Um, I'll input 10.30 then, so... Okay, let's see uh, if I can do the same. I'm trying to rotate the top part of the watch, but... Can I drag it up? Drag it down? Uh, touch the actual... Um, oh, the minute hand. I can I can drag the, I can drag the minute yeah, hand. Yeah, that's All right, what I'm doing. 10.30. It's going forward in time, but... Okay. Ten thirty. Thirty. All right. It won't let me do. I that got it as close as I could. Let me uh, see if I can get it. If I turn it all the way back, maybe it wants me to rotate it the reverse direction to ten thirty. No. All right. That looks. Maybe if is I. Is there just a crack in yours? Before. There is no crack in mine. Mine looks perfectly fine. Mine has a crack in the glass. Crack in the glass. What numbers does it touch? Um, it starts at the one and goes to the five. Like it's kind of curved oh, around. Oh, oh, the bit. clock's not not running for me. I'm gonna wind it. Actually, it winds this way if I'm remembering pocket watches correctly. I'm gonna wind it to the left. Um, rotate. I'm clockwise. winding. I wound it. I wound it a lot. It doesn't actually do anything. Um, All right, maybe it's broken. See. Okay. Uh, K E S. Our village. What does it say on like the big title at the top of your slip again? On the top of my slip, it says another disappearance strikes strikes a village. Strikes it's our the other village. Side. Okay. Yep. Okay. So read yours first, then I'll read mine. Okay. The youngest member of the renowned clockmaker family, Lark, was reported missing yesterday. Her sister Emily told us she had last seen her at 10:30. Now you go. Understandably distressed, she later corrected her statement and said it must have been an hour and a half later. Okay, an hour and a half after 10.30. Oh, an hour and a half after 10.30. Okay, so... So, uh, 10.30. Yep. Sorry. Oh, and if you wind it, wind the clock after that. Oh, God. And we're teleporting. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. hey, we're Chapter not done. One. This is a copy I made of the world that the Lark and I used to know. That Lark, Lark, I think, no. Chapter one, Lark went missing in 1937, but it all started years before. I'm going That's back in time. Says. 1927 is when I went back to. There's trees and a beautiful clock and a pathway. I'm also going back to 1927. Oh, fantastic, welcome. It's a nice time. It's a nice period. It is midnight, and right. I'm at a bus station. It looks like I'm at a bus station as well. It's not midnight for me. Oh. It now it... Oh. Oh. If I go left and right, the clock moves positions. Go left. Go left. Go left. If you go left, you'll see Raven's clocks, and it's probably 1030. Oh. Opening hours, 9 to... 3 to 9. Oh, you know what? If I turn this way again, if I keep rotating, oh. if I keep rotating left, it's oh my god, there's it's so back much. a whole hour. Matthew, it's back a whole hour. If you keep rotating one direction, oh, you're I rotating, see. you're turning back time as you turn. So we can go okay. back to 1030. Okay, there's a so creepy, that's part. There's a creepy well, and it spooks. I, yeah, I saw that. I started climbing me. down it, and I got spooky. You, and then I was like, You nope. can climb down it? Yeah, click on it, and you can climb down. <laughs> I'd rather not, but okay. Uh, Let's okay, see. so it seems to be like there's... So I have... <laughs> no. At the bus station. No. Go to the bus station. Nope. I'm going back to the bus station. I'll tell you what time it is for me. 
Because I, I went and rotated. Wait, I'm missing a, a button. Hold on. I can't go right. I, I, I need to find a button, I think. What do you mean you can't go right? Uh, okay, so in okay, so in the little uh, bus station, there's like a little computer. Gotcha. It has four buttons. One, uh, there's supposed to be a left, a right, and up, a down. I'm and also a reset missing button. a right. I'm missing the right button, so I need to find the right one. This train looks uh, like it's gonna hit invisible walls um, that we can yeah. push our way through. So but let's. I let's have a see house. What happens the if... creepy well and Raven's clocks. Yeah, so the clock on the bus station turns based on which direction you turn. Yep. So if I keep going left or counterclockwise, so to speak, until 10.30. So go back in time to 10.30. Well, there's two houses. All right. Right now, it's, it's 10 o'clock for me. 10.30. That means I have to... Turn, no. To the I well. To go... It leads to the well at 10.30. Oh, no. Oh, um, no. no. I don't want to. Uh, I'm, cl I'm climbing down. Okay. I'm climbing down I'll the well. I'll go with you. Give me I'm a moment. doing it. I'm going down the well as well. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, Is this a plans. horror game? Ah, oh, okay. There's a box. Okay. I like and boxes. And it has a lever and buttons. I, I dig a button. I think it's patterns. Oh, the sounds. Oh, I don't like them. I don't. So uh, let me let me tell you what's what my box looks like. Maybe your box is different. Uh, so I've got I've got six separate things. Three on top, three on bottom. Each yep. of them have a picture. Three of them have buttons. The top Which left, three have buttons for you? The top left has a button for me. The top right has a button for me. And the bottom middle has a button for me. It is the exact opposite for me. The bottom left, top middle, and bottom. So mine are hard set. So the top left one is a solid triangle, solid black triangle. Switch yours to solid black triangle. Oh, we can switch them. Yep. So click on the buttons to switch them. Oh, so switch got it. Solid black triangle. So what's got the, it. Okay. What's my, the one to the right? To the right of that, this is the top row, middle. I've got yep. a hollowed out circle. Okay. I'm going to switch to hollowed out circle. Then the one to the right is a hollowed out triangle. Hollowed out triangle. Yep. All right. So then reading it this. like a page, we're going to okay. go to the bottom left. What is at the bottom left? Bottom left for me is a hollowed out square. Okay. I will switch mine to a hollowed out square. The bottom middle one is also a hollowed out square. Okay. And the bottom right one for me is a solid circle. So a, a blacked out circle. Okay. Oh, it opened. Oh, oh I, I pulled the lever. Oh, my goodness. Open. Okay. Hey, the button. Hey, it's the, the right button. button. We got the button. Okay, now we can go back to the thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now that I got the button, I'm going to get Oh, the, it, we have like an inventory on the well. right side. I know. Okay, get the fuck out of this well. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, 1030, ah. that, was a, that was a good. Hi, I think. Oh, man. Okay. This, this game just gets creepier, doesn't it? I, oh, my gosh. I hope gosh. it's not a... I hope it's not a... Okay, I game. put the button in. Secret horror game. Okay, I've got the um, button. Do you see anything other than a train? Because I see a train at the bottom right corner of my screen. I see a train at the bottom left corner of my screen. All right. Huh. How do we... Okay, so... This, this... Where's our destination? Maybe we have to gather some information first. Probably. Because we have the button now, like we can move, I can move freely around the screen, but we have yeah. no, uh, there's like a stick with wings and a crown at the base of it. Is that the same for you? A uh, stick, wings, crown. Uh, yeah, but, uh, it's, it's a really fancy crown. It's like feathery wings. It's a, it's a stick. Is it the same for you? Um, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go into the house. Which one? And at uh, what time? Let's see. I'm going to make it midnight and go to uh, the right. Midnight, and midnight go to the is house. bus. Oh, so you're going to. Okay, I, I get it. You're going to oh. make it forward in time to midnight. Go past midnight and go into the house. Gotcha. So oh, it's gonna be like... there's a jack in the box. 
Uh, <laughs> I don't like this. Wait, there's actually a jack in the box? I've got a train in this house. Wait, am I in the same house as you? There's a bird. Did you go to the clock's house? No, I went to the other house. All right, so when I enter the house, it shows me a choo-choo train and a light bulb. I turned on the light bulb and there's a moth. Okay, the moth brought letters. I have letters. What do you got? Try your jack-o'-lantern. Um, hold on. Where are you? Um, okay. Let me read you the the words that I have and I'll let you know. Are where you I in am. Raven's clocks? No, I'm in I'm in the I'm in the house that's got the the fancy house. Just one to the right of midnight, alright? Yeah. So Lark but... Hope like present it three clockwise, anti clockwise, then turn clockwise and do turn clockwise and not go. Hold on, let me reset this really quick. Okay. So, the rotating, um, things. Tell me what to do. Alright. Lark, hope, like, present. I'm- I'm missing words, it looks like. Did you open your jack-in-the-box? I can't. Not yet. You have to tell me how to. Oh! Oh! Hey! I can, there's a thing okay, on the I front got that can words. rotate clockwise or counterclockwise. Okay. I started the train up by- by winding it, and it gave me the rest of the words. So, Lark, I hope you like your present. Turn it anti-clockwise three times, clockwise twice, and anti-clockwise twice. One, two. Did I do it wrong? Then keep turning it clockwise. Oh, and do not let go. I just let go. <laughs> okay. okay, tell me how to do it again. Turn it anti-clockwise three times. One, two, three. Clockwise twice. One, two. Anti-clockwise twice, and keep turning it, One, and then keep turning it clock two. clockwise. After the two times that way, then start turning it clockwise and keep turning it clockwise. And do not let go. Ah! Did ah, it scare you? Ah, it scared it's me. Of me. <laughs> oh my goodness. I hate I don't like it! It looks like a ketchup bottle! <laughs> okay. <laughs> this room. A, a ticket oh, fell out! Loud. A ticket fell out of it! You got a ticket to ride? Uh, no, it- it's a pathway. Um, oh my gosh. it looks like a torn ticket that shows me half of the path of the train in the previous oh. one. Oh! Oh, awesome! Okay, okay, so- so now- the not the well, please. Raven, Raves, okay, so, wait, Raven, Wait, do I just leave that Ravsen, there then? Rav, I have numbers no on I. it too. It's not Raven, it's just Raven. I got, I got five Ravens. numbers on it. Remember there's a five number code here for the ticket. Just there's remember that. There's a five that. number code for the ticket. Yeah, it has the ticket on the ticket. Okay, so we're going into Raven's clocks. Um, Opening sure. hours, three to nine. Okay, is, I suppose that's 3 p.m. nine. PM, so let's just go back to 9 p.m. It's quicker. Uh, wait. So just go left a lot? Yeah, left till it's 9. It's much quicker than waiting for morning and then all that other stuff. And um, one more full rotation. Yep. Me as well. It's open! Ah, uh, this hey. is so weird. Okay, I walking inside. I seem to inside. have some kind of radio. Oh, I have a radio, too. And a stairway. Can I go? Oh, you can go up, and there's clocks. Oh, I found... Oh, there's a note oh. here. Oh, there's a bug. Hold on. A lot of information is coming in at once. So, uh, go back down to the radio. Gotcha. Uh, tune it until you see words, and like letters fly around, and then tune it to oh. where you can see words. I just tuned it. I have a message at approximately 800 kilohertz. All right. The Raven I... family moved here a month ago and have worked day and night. And have worked here day and night.
to be able to open their clock shop today, the 18th. Sweet old farm dog, remember to lock your doors until the thief has been caught. Oh, where'd you get that information? Uh, birds have been found scattered across the forest floor. Uh, okay. These are all second halves to uh, puzzles sentences. that I yeah. I think we have to match them up. A uh, construction. Oh, you know of what? Our hey, very so own you know the stairway, office. right? Yeah. Go back down to the radio stairway. Is the stairway on the left side of the radio or the right side? The stairway is on the right side of the radio. On the right side of the radio. Oh, there's a little time bug that I just wound up, and now he's going back up. At the top of the doorway, what does it say? Private. It doesn't say private for me. It says private. Do you do you have a T at the end of yours? Yeah, P R I V A T E. I don't and have, I have a bunch of A T E. Clocks. I have private. Oh, this clock is broken. Yeah, this one all right here won't go. None of them will actually. They're all broken. Um, I've got a calendar in the attic, on a rolled up something or other, and feathers. a bunch of clocks on the walls. And I suppose this will be where we're going to end the first episode, and we'll get, see you guys next time. All right. Say goodbye. How do, I, how do I end an episode? Stop recording.